Naughty or nice. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, because it's silent night, daily night. What's going on folks and welcome to another Repute Test video. Silent Night, Deadly Night came out in 1984 and was directed by Charles E. Seller Jr. and stars Robert Brian Wilson. It's all about this boy who witnesses a terrible tragedy with his parents. Then years passes, he goes to this orphanage with this mother superior who makes matters worse. A few more years passes and he goes nuts. He starts killing people. He dresses up as Santa Claus. He's an ex willing maniac. Granted it had its faults continuity wise that's for sure but I liked it. This movie came out around the era when Halloween, Friday the 13th, A Nightmare on Elm Street was still fresh. So the slasher era was still a little fresh then. It was good. I liked it. The positives was, of course, the lighting, the cinematography, the usual, the music. It, it was really eerie. The storyline, it was straight and to the point to where you actually feel for what this kid has gone through. It, it's tragic. I think he was like six at that time. That stains on your memory, especially at that young tender age. So, in a way, you do feel for the psychopathic killer in this, even though he's a psychopathic killer. If I'm not mistaken, around this time, Hollywood was wanting to push for more horror Christmas movies. Christmas horror movies, however you want to put it. There's been so many movies about the time of Halloween that Hollywood just threw up and say, you know what, let's have a Christmas horror movie now. It's time to switch it up a little bit. So I thought they did a pretty good job with this. It's one of those guilty pleasured horror Christmassy movies that you just want to watch during the holidays. The character of Billy, who's the psychopathic killer in this. Robert Brian Wilson brought the right psyche when it came to this character. He did a pretty good job, I gotta admit. All right, the negatives. Like I said before, there's a lot of continuity errors in this. I really can't mention all in one, but I know there was plenty. First of all, there's a realistic standpoint. I know this is a movie, but if a six-year-old has witnessed a tragic such as that, why would you send him to an orphanage with people that know nothing, nothing about how to take care of kids like that? You know, there was better places to take that boy than an orphanage. Uh, let me think. Hospitals come to mind? Just saying. <laughs> this mother superior who's so strict and so religious bound that she just makes things worse for his psyche. When I was watching, I was like, you have no idea what this boy went through, and yet you're still punishing him over stupid stuff. Really? I can see why he turned out the way he did. Honestly, in my mind, when I was watching this movie, it wasn't him that was the villain in this movie. It was everybody else around him because they're the ones that, that made him the way he is. Everybody else around him pretty much created a monster. So I think the Mother Superior, the, the guy that killed his parents, and everybody else was the reason why he grew up the way he was. Why he had such a screwed up mind. There's this one really sweet nun that was the only one that actually gave a crap on what was happening to this kid and wasn't focusing on the stupid rules don't leave your bed without my say so blah 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 and like the mother superior would be like well he's gonna learn how to behave blah 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 all i wanted to do is slap her in the face and by the time the third act happened i was starting getting excited and then without spoiling it for anybody i'll just stop right there i like this movie it was it was pretty good like i said in my last video i'm always a sucker for a good slasher no matter how cheesy it may be. There was some other things that was sort of a negativity. By the third act happened, the killer had a, a baby infant brother in the car at the beginning when that tragic started. It clearly showed the brother being in that same orphanage because it they confirmed that at the beginning of this movie. But by the time the third act happened, 10 years has already passed. And it, it was showing that same kid, the brother of the killer, at that orphanage, and he looked the same. He didn't age at all, okay? The little brother was the same age as he was at the beginning 
which was like maybe a, a few years after that tragic happened to Billy, then 10 years passed, you'd, you'd have thought that kid would have grown up a little bit more. The kid was probably maybe four or five years younger than Billy. As far as negatives go, this movie, it, it was pretty good. I liked it. I'm giving Silent Night, Deadly Night a D minus. Like I said, it was one of those guilty pleasure movies that you just come across by and it's, if you're a slasher fan like me, you'll, you'll actually enjoy it. You really will. My review for Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 will be out soon. The Blu-ray is not out yet. I'm going to wait until I purchase that. Of course, before I do that, I'm going to do an unboxing of it. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, stay tuned for more reviews. I hope you liked this video. What did you think of Silent Night, Deadly Night? Did you hate it? Did you love it? Leave me a comment down below and let me let me know what you thought. Like, subscribe, and get Rip You Top. And also, my Reactor Reactions Galore channel is up. The link is in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to that. And also like it on Facebook. And like the Ripster on Facebook as well. And I'll see y'all soon. Peace to Rip Out.